So those are some of the different options for working directly with the pages. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about working with master pages. Master pages are especially useful if you have a longer document in which the same element will appear from page to page, such as a page number or a header or a footer. Um, or you may even have a certain kind of page that appears regularly. For example, if you're working on a magazine, you may have a certain opening page for an article where there's a large space for a larger headline rather than just text. So you can set up formats in the master pages and then apply those to pages within your document. You can see what I've done here. I'm going to double click on those master pages so you can see them. I've set up my pages, my master pages, so that this InDesign tips could become a longer document and have that same look and feel from page to page. So when I double click on the master pages, when you're working with pages, you always want to double click on the page that you plan to be working on. And you'll indicate that that page is selected by having it highlighted in the pages panel. So right now, I'm viewing that A master page. And you can see that I've added some elements to it. That red sidebar, I want that to appear on all of my pages. And I've also created a layout for the page so that I have a headline text box up at the top. I have a text box for an intro paragraph. And then I have a text box for text here, a text box for text here, space for an image here, and a sidebar on the side. So if I wanted to create a similar document, say for another kind of software or for something else in relation to InDesign, I already have this basic page set up. And you can see that I can then click and drag on that master page to create a new page within my document. The other thing is that you can set up your guidelines on the master page, and those guides will be applied to all of the pages. So I created those using the ruler and just dragging them from the left and from the top. And now those guides will ensure that my elements are placed in the same positioning from page to page. Once I've added that master page, these elements on the page itself won't change. However, because they're locked to the master page, if I want to edit them or add text to them, you'll see they show up as a dotted line, and I can't select them once they're applied to the page itself. In order to override that connection to the master page and be able to place text in those boxes, I'm going to hold down the Control and Shift keys and click the box. And you'll see now the box becomes active. And I can go into it and type a new headline. You may have multiple types of master pages in your document. And so if I go to the panel menu, I'll see that I have a number of options for master pages. It gives me the option to create a new master page. And if you want a special prefix, each of the master pages is set up with a prefix so that as you pull it down, let me see if I can, I don't know if this is going to let me, here, I'll cancel out. I think I actually am not able to zoom in on the panel itself. But if you can see that, there's a little tiny A in the corner of each of these pages indicating that those pages are linked to that first A master page. Now, with that page selected, if I go to the master options for A master, I can change the prefix and I can also change the name. So let's call this InDesign Tips. That can be the name of my master page. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And you'll see that now that master page is labeled with InDesign tips. It can be helpful to label them, especially if you have multiple master pages, so that you know right away if you're setting up something. Maybe you're producing a magazine or a series of books that always have a similar look and feel. You may want to set up a master page for something like the table of contents, or an opening page of a chapter, or a title page, so that you'll maintain a consistent look and feel across multiple products or across one longer document.